welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Dirty Old Bilsif. Friggin' right I am. Well, boys and girls, just so you know, I spent about, uh, I don't know, three hours on the computer this morning trying to figure out that friggin' TikTok. I think I might have her, boys. I think I might. So don't forget to go down below, bottom area there of this video, and you'll see my TikTok account. Get over there and like it and follow. Why wouldn't you if you have TikTok? Get my subscriber count up on that. Why wouldn't you? Because that way, you know, it'll help grow the old YouTube channel too, maybe. Friggin' right, Will. But don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button, as always, because I really appreciate that. But today what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out why we have no front wheel drive again on this goddamn UDR, boys. What we're going to need is your full attention and some tools to get this shit apart, boys. I'm going to have to go downstairs and get stuff, so hang tight. I'll be right back. I don't think the mic will work all the way downstairs, but we'll find out right now. Can you hear me? 10-4. Can you hear me? <laughs> Sideways. Hell, the other parts. For frig's sake. I don't know my own dickers. What happened? I have more than three. Okay, boys, I'm back. First thing I want to do is take these out because there's no way in I'm going to do this by hand again. Deal. There's no way in frig I'm going to do this by hand again. There's just way too many El Scruzos, boys. So let's get this apart. Jim? Need a different size again. Stick it in the drill. And away we go, boys. Different size. Why wouldn't it? Careful. Got a little wobble happen. So now this should lift out. There it goes, boys. So that's out of the way. So now what we gotta do is just have a quick little look in here, see? And I can't see Dick. Why would I see Dick? So we gotta take more apart, we do. Oh. I can see what happened already. I don't know if you can see or not. I'll try to show you. Let me see how good this camera zooms. Let's really test this camera out today, boys. So if you get right in here where the transmission is, let's do a little manual here. Down in here is the transmission and there's a screw that holds that center shaft on, it come off again, boys. So we're gonna have to pull this transmission out again and get that screw back on and see why it keeps falling off. Maybe put some extra Loctite in her. That's what I'm freaking thinking. So hopefully I don't have to pull too much apart on here, but we'll find out shortly we will. I'm gonna leave the motor attached this time because I'm pretty sure I can. Just pull out this whole center piece. So there we go, hopefully this whole thing will lift out now. Cause I really don't wanna get too far into this just to tighten up the drive shaft. <laughs> Careful. So there you go. See, there's a hole. So if you look right here, this is a part falling off, boys, is this one. I've put it on here twice now, and the uh, the screw just keeps backing out. So I really don't know what to tell you. I don't. But we'll put it back on again and get some serious-ass Loctite on there and try again. That's all we can freaking do. So I'm going to keep you off my face for a minute. So we'll grab some Loctite. We'll Loctite that screw, and we'll uh, get her into her. Just got to look for my Loctite. I have no idea what I did with a Loctite. I lost me Loctite, I did. I'm always losing something, boys. If I don't find my Loctite, it's just going to friggin' fall out again. Oh, come on. Wow. That sucked trying to find that, boys. What we got to do now is we got to find a screw that fits better. Because I don't like the screw that was in it. I don't. Who knows? That could be one of the problems, boys. Can you see me? Probably. Probably too close to you. Come on, baby. Right there. I think I got her voice. So slide this back on here like this. We'll Loctite the piss out of her. With red Loctite. Because I'm tired of this goddamn thing coming off, to be honest with you. We'll grab the tool. We'll stick it in the tool. We'll grab the tranny. We'll stick it in the tranny. And we'll tighten her up, boys. There we go. So now we just got to get this back in, which is going to be interesting. Tell you one thing, the old UDR, it isn't as easy to work on as the X-Max, boys. Remember when you're working with this, always take this off drill. Because I think it just stripped, suckered this thing. Sure did. She's cock, boys. What happened? Oh, yeah. Stripped the dicks out of that piece. God, now I can't even get the engine off. <laughs> Well, let's try yanking the drive shaft and see if we can do it that way. So that drive shaft's off. Let's see if we can't get her back in the groove here. Okay, so he's able to do that that way. Well, I'll tell you one thing, boys. I'm not too impressed with the way the old UDR goes together. I'll tell you that right now. Let's get some of these other bolts back together first. Rear end's gonna come off. I'm hoping I can stick a thing through here without having to pull a tire off. 
That'd be so much easier, boys, than pulling the whole thing apart. Don't have to take the tire off this way. There we go. So if we pull one of the one of the links off. We'll slide it right in, Jim. Friggin' right we will. See, boys? And that just a pretty face, you know. Now we can throw that back in. Decent. Find the hole, Captain. There it is. Tighten her up, Jim. There we go. Take the little lock pin. You probably can't see nothing, boys. I apologize. See if you can't see what I'm doing down here. Tighten this up. Decent. Everything feels pretty good in there. I do have a little bit of a warp dry shot, but I don't care. Let it rip. Tater chip. Bring back a little bit and we'll start putting the case on. Actually, you know what? In all honesty, that wasn't too bad, really. Just the uh, the drive shaft not being able to come off is kind of annoying. It'd be nice to have like a slider on that drive shaft that way you just slide it back and it unbolts. But hey, it's just more to break if you do that, I guess. Definitely makes it a lot quicker when you use power tools. I know we're not using the ideal gun, but don't really care, boys. So there we go. UDR is ready to go. So I'm going to throw some batteries in it right now. And we're going to freaking see if it even works. Why wouldn't we? I don't know if I've charged these batteries or not. Just so you know, I also have a problem with the ESC on this thing. It's cocked over too so it's gonna have to get a hobby wing upgrade can't be bothered with the Traxxas stuff anymore boys it doesn't seem to last Traxxas uh, electronics kind of suck dick they do leave your comments down below if you agree with me or not but I'm pretty sure you will if you're in the RC world because they do suck to be honest with you because what happens with this thing is you run it for a minute and it goes into heat protection and I don't know why it's either a bad battery which I doubt because the batteries work fine in other cars or it's something to do with the the um doodad oh yeah we got juice for sure boys so we'll slap this in here like this and then we'll uh we'll see if it wants to do anything at all so we need the remote UD Arge. So we'll crack that thing on and we'll crack on the old throttle in here or the old power button. See if she makes some noise. Ooh. Oh, you know what she sounds? She sounds like she's a little bit on the dry side from sitting. If you're not sure, get out your WD, spray it all in the hubs there, get everything lubed up again. That's how you get uh, something back in gear here, boys. Just WD it. WD everything, why wouldn't you? Should have WD'd in there when that was apart, but hey, it is what it is. Wow, that fit sounds freaking sweet, doesn't it? There we go, slap her on the ground, and follow me. Why wouldn't you? Oh, she's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be? My neighbor. Here, boys, well, you sit up here for a minute and just watch her. Careful. Holy and violent. Definitely working, Jim. Full RC video for you today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, and notification bell bar if you like. Ripping around with the old UDR. But we'll set you over here. And I haven't got the ideal setup today for you. But hey, I don't have a cameraman either. Like I said, it's really hard when you don't have a cameraman, boys. There we go. That's better. Yeah, we did. Just try to see whereabouts you are on the camera so I can try to keep it within the camera range here for you. Man, this thing's working really good right now. Holy dick, this thing's fast, boys. Woo, eh? Woo. Not towards the camera, boys. This thing tears it up in four wheel drive. It's not breaker, Jim. Actually, even coming this way, you get a pretty good little, little, little lift off. Well, not really. Did it again, boys. Just keep crashing the old UDR, I do. Careful! <laughs> 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 hey, 
I don't want to put this thing away broken by all goddamn means, but I got to try to get a little bit of air for you. So if we look over here, we might be able to get a little bit of air, but I'm not going to go nuts, boys, because like I said, I don't want to put this thing away broken again, because it sucks when that happens. That was a nice one. Did you see that? That was decent. You come up real smooth on them, then you nail the throttle. Make sure you let off when you come down, boys, so you don't snap anything. Whenever you're coming off the ground, you just let off the throttle nice and easy, not hard. Try to keep the spin at the same speed you're going. That way you don't uh, rip drive shafts out of them. Little uh, RC tip of the day from Bilson. Oh, that was a beautiful landing. Did you guys see that? Probably not. Yeah, we did. I'm just idling this thing, boys. I'm not even getting hard on her yet. Acts like a real truck, this thing. Oh, that was a little rough. That was a little rough. Give me that. Oh, that was really rough. Careful. Don't break her, boys. She's not designed to, uh, to beat. It's not a basher, boys. She's a driver. Treat her like a real deal. She'll last longer for you. Hey, okay, maybe. Depends how you land them too. This is kind of a long video for you today on the old RC. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get you or not in here. Let's try this. Okay, that's not bad. Let's back up a little bit. Let's give you a little less of an angle. There we go. Slow motion launch, boys. How'd that look? Pretty decent. go Jim let's put her away not broken so anyways this is day uh, day two of the old holidays there staying away from the Cronus boys so leave your comments down below and let me know what you're doing to stay away from the Cronus cuz uh, dirty old rotten Bilson wants to know he does as I'm jumping my garden why wouldn't I But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave a comments down below if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and hit that notification bell bar button. Enjoy the rest of your day like I am. Don't do anything I ain't doing. And uh, you know what to do for now. Freaking right you do.